Hey guys, Trupiel here, what's up? Shield up army, today we are going to go through hero trials. Exactly, that's really difficult uh, game mode because depends on what heroes you will get. Grizzly Reapers, Cupids are impossible to defeat at high levels, but we will see. If we will be lucky, maybe we will get some Paladins. So, L10. Why not? There you go. We have full 6 chances. So, first try Ninjas. Yeah, not that bad. They have low HP. First few Ninjas defeated. And there you go, a huge wave of Ninjas. Let's see if my heroes can proc on time. Come on. Come on, Immortal proc, Thunder got proc, and all my heroes disappeared. They were just killed in few seconds. Incredible, but we see this time. This time we have <laughs> once more ninjas. Oh, come on, don't waste my don't waste my time, guys. Okay, there you go, Snow Zealus. Their proc is really powerful and. I don't want to waste this time. So there you go. Pumpkin Dukes L10. Okay. And they proc already a few times, so I have no chances. So, come on. Give me some weak heroes. Druid L10. Druid is not that strong. I think that I'm able to defeat Druids. But they all they all stop boost each other damage, and they heal each other. So that can seems to be that they are immortal. You can see all those green bars. They are healing themselves. Okay, so we have we have a last chance of this hero trial. And hopefully that will be Succubus, Paladin, Champion, one of the best heroes. Okay, let's put hero traps that are hero traps that are really helpful. Oh not hero monsters. And there you go. Elton, last chance in Paladins! Exactly. There you go, Palis, you are my lovely, lovely tanks. We are damn strong. 210 level with big HP boost, like 4 times more HP, and their powerful proc, probably 8999. So they can seem to be immortal, but they are not getting healed, and that's the m most important part. And their damage and proc is not that strong. So, whoa, 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 that was probably Pumpkin Duke tanking damage from many, many Paladins. And the result was that my Pumpkin proc'd few times, several times, and that was really amazing. So, there we go. I defeated L10 Paladins. So, we'll see soon, in few days, after I will recover my chances for hero trials and then we'll see if can defeat L11 so stay tuned guys okay there we are once more with recovered hero trials and whoa L11 First try Paladins. Last time we weren't so lucky. Got Paladins at the last chance. Oh, Paladin sprint 5 of 5. Oh, come on, guys, they are just tanks. Paladins, not gen dangerous. Absolutely. Oh, so many Paladins. <laughs> My Pumpkin Duke. Procs. All the time, and that's really helpful. With help of Cupid, see my pumpkin duke is tanking damage from 
paladins and that helps a lot. Oh, another paladin is coming to the base. Oh, two of my heroes died, or even three, but still I was able to defeat that wave. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! So if on L11 three of my heroes died, what about L12 paladins? I don't want to imagine what's going to happen. Even more paladins with more HP, stronger proc. So I think that switching my gold vaults with towers will be helpful because towers have more HP, they will tank damage a bit longer. And we will see. So there you go, L12. Come on, champions! Oh! On L12, that's for me impossible to defeat champions because L10, oh, I will have some chances, but this L12, they have sold them a lot of HP, and after first proc, then will be another, another, and my heroes will be perma tuned. Every champion is tuning free targets, free my heroes. No way. Uh, without Minotaur that's impossible for me to defeat that but you can defeat it defeat L twelve without Minotaur. And not only Paladins, also Sakubus, Snowzy last I saw Force Closed guy with a guy doing great YouTube videos uh, uh, videos on YouTube from Castle Clash that defeated L12 without Minotaur. Even Fu has a Multanika, that's a great achievement. So, ninjas. Okay. If I couldn't defeat ninjas on L10, why I could do this on L12? And once more, ninjas. I'm all the time getting ninjas twice in a row. So. Will be we lucky? Come on, just a little bit more of luck. Snowzill has no way. With their proc, they will destroy all buildings in few seconds. Just wait after few Snowzillas will proc. And. Oh, we have some chances. Immortal proc, Spirit Match proc, Thunder God proc, no, no chances. Because no Zillas proc. Their balls, every few seconds, hitting so hard, everything. All newbie targets. Okay, let's put hero traps. And wish me luck, guys. We have some more chances. Last one. Thunder Guts, are you kidding me? Take a look, first hit, my inside base disappeared. They will pew 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 everything in my neighborhood. Oh, Spirit Match is alive. What a great luck. Come on, Pro Spirit Match, kill all of them. Oh, and Druid was alive. But not for a long time. Okay, so see you soon. Stay tuned, guys. And there we are. Once more, we've recovered chances for Hero Trials. And hopefully this time I will get Paladins. <laughs> I'm not sure if I will defeat them, but anyway, Paladins are the easiest target for now. <sighs> so, there you go. Paladins, Paladins, Paladins and Champions, no way. Once more, the stupid Champions. They seem to be so weak, low HP, slow, but after first hit, there you go, stealing everything around. Stun, stun, stun. 
and all my heroes died pretty fast. Okay. Let's put our hero traps and see what we can do. L12 once more with Snowzilla's. Is it even worth my time to watch how Snowzilla's PP my base? No, it's not worth this time. Four more chances, Atlanticers. Are you kidding me? That's impossible. One Atlanticor proc and all my heroes will commit suicide. Their proc is incredible. I wish I could have Atlantico with 5 of 5 revitalize. Very ridiculous thing is that I have never rolled single Atlantico and champion. These two heroes I have never rolled. No champions, no Atlanticors. I don't know why. Champion seems to be easy to roll, but anyway, I had totally no luck. I bought my champion with shirts. Yeah, that was one of the first five legendary heroes I got, I think. And I bought him because I needed him for arena and for boss fights. Because his 3 seconds tune is very important. Oh, let's put all hero traps in one place. Maybe this will be very helpful. Just getting all the enemies at once. There you go, three more chances and paladins, 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 him or tap. Oh, that's going to be pretty interesting. But I think that Immortal proc will just destroy my whole walls yeah not only buildings but also walls sad thing is that Immortal has a lot a lot of HP let's take a look you can see disappearing walls yeah they destroyed few walls but I I quit it because I didn't want to waste my time like always time is the most important thing in life okay 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 what we'll get this time and we get ninjas <laughs> all the time ninjas <laughs> and they're all coming together nothing can stop them be from killing me. Okay. Last chance. This is the last chance. And this time I want to get Paladins. L12. I want to defeat L12. Fuck you! Fuck you, Snowzillas! Okay. That seems to be not that bad. Come on, guys, come on. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty good. Come on, Thunder God, proc. Thunder God, Immortep. Wow, that was pretty close. My father got to could proc steal them for one and a half second and I could win it. Anyway, I did. So thanks guys for watching. Of course, don't forget to like. Give the stupid likes. Write something in comments if you can if you think that I can defeat Paladins or not. Your opinion is very important for me. And if you haven't subscribed yet my channel, go ahead, subscribe it. So, stay tuned for more videos for you through PL. Next time.